Hey there, Clashers. It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for coming back, or if it's your first time, thanks for tuning in to another special episode of Clash of Clans Attacks, where today we continue with Galadon's Go Wipe Guide. A comprehensive look at the Go Wipe strategy for Town Halls 8, 9, and 10. And today we are going to turn the virtual page on this guide to Chapter 3, Beginning the Assault. We're going to look at those first placements of troops that can make all the difference between a win and a loss. Now we'll show a Town Hall 8 replay first, but you'll quickly notice that the strategy is pretty consistent throughout Town Halls 8, 9, and 10. As you watch the lower left of the screen, in come the golems, placed far enough apart that they target separate defensive structures, the wizards in behind, just wide enough to take out all of those surrounding structures while the golems distract all of the fire from those defenses. Next come the wall breakers and they arrive at the wall untouched by any defensive structures. They blow a hole wide open in that wall and although the golems do bunch up at this point, you'll notice that they did provide enough distraction for long enough that those wizards took out all of the surrounding structures. That sends the rest of the units into the center and by the time they're in through that second enclosure, there is already nearly 25% of this village destroyed. Next, we'll take a look at a Town Hall 9 attack. This is actually in a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10. And you'll notice, although the troop order is slightly different, the fundamentals remain the same. The golem distracts those defenses so they do not touch those wall breakers. They open up that second enclosure there, so now the second golem can move in. The wizard's now completely protected by all of the golems there. Again, only two golems, but it was all that was needed. Second set of wall breakers break through their wall. And now as the main brunt of the attack moves in, the golems have done their job. And again, nearly 25% of this village is down before the units have headed towards the town hall enclosure. And next we move on to town hall 10. With this troop capacity, definitely easier to bring three golems to the attack, and we're looking at one of my own replays here. And here I've spread the golems out all the way across the top left side of this base, and you'll notice they have targeted three separate defensive structures. So now those wizards can be spread all the way along that entire length of the village, taking out all of the surrounding structures. The golems getting in deep, continuing to maintain their focus on each individual defensive structure gives the wizards a great deal of time and then of course the wall breakers to get through the wall and now as the rest of the attacking force moves in you'll notice that over a quarter of this village is already down. Next we'll take a look at an attack replay from Sivo proving there is more than one way to skin a cat, sorry cat lovers, and uh, that is he drops just one golem on the left here, a few wizards, a couple of wall breakers to open that enclosure and then repeats the process on the right hand side. Again golem distracting, Wizards and wall breakers untouched are going to destroy the walls and the surrounding structures. And then the third golem right down the center. Also wizards and wall breakers coming in behind, opening up the wall. Now you'll notice there's a wide spread of attacking units there taking out all sorts of surrounding structures. And once again, as the rest of the attacking force moves in, we are at 24% damage and almost a quarter of the village's history. So we'll take a look at one more attack replay, this from Vinny Alto of Lost Phoenix. And here you'll see another three golem Town Hall 10 go wipe. The golems spread out extremely widely across the top right of this village. The wizards completely protected. Wall breakers opening that enclosure. And now you'll notice on the far right as that golem takes out the archer tower, those two golems will bunch up but they have already done their job sufficiently distracting all of those defensive structures. Here comes the rest of the troops moving in, once again headed towards the town hall, and yet again 24% damage. So of course there are many ways to start a successful go wipe attack, but the fundamentals will always remain the same. You've got to use those golems to protect those high damage units, get those troops in there and get them focused and headed towards the town hall. So please do check out my other episodes, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for future chapters of Galadon's Go Wipe Guide. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments, and I will see you guys very soon with You Got It, more full attacks. And uh, yes, maybe tomorrow I will share a replay of me doing Peter's Go Wipe Your Eyes strategy, which, believe it or not, worked.